uh, welcome back again to Apache Kafka series. Uh, in this uh, video, in the previous video, we have started or we continue with writing code or our producer client code that will connect to our Kafka broker. And in this video, we are going to continue with it. Uh, we have actually almost completed everything except that if you can see from our con uh, controller, uh, message controller, we also declared a topic here. So I think we also need to add this topic to our YML file. And then from here, we can give uh, the topic. I don't want to create a new topic because if you have watched the, the previous video, like uh, installing and configuring Kafka, we have created a topic there manually. So I want to use that Kafka uh, series uh, dash one topic. So here I'm given the topic name. So uh, next, what we are going to do, uh, let's start our application and see, uh, is it connecting to Kafka or is there any problem? Uh, before starting this video, I have already started our Kafka, the previous Kafka that we have configured uh, in the previous videos, uh, both the Kafka and the Zookeeper. They are now running in the background uh, so we are going to connect to them and these are the ports of the Kafka host uh, or uh, Kafka brokers and the ports that I have configured previously. So now we are just going to run this application and see that is it connecting to Kafka or not. And if it is not connecting, what is the problem? Then we will figure out and then and make sure that it works. So uh, we can just start the application from here. Uh, let me start it in debug mode so that we may see the messages or error messages if there is any. So let's see then. Okay, as you can see, we have got an error and it is like the port 8080 that I want to start this application on is being used by another application. I really don't want to go deep into checking that application for now. Maybe I have started other application before. So I just want to give another server port, which is 1990 and continue with it. So I prefer this to be on top. Why is it here? So now I give 1990 and I will start the application again. Let's see what will happen. So as you can see now, the, the application has uh, started and now it is running on port 1990. So we are going to use a postman to send a message uh, to our Kafka broker. Uh, through this application. But before then, uh, let's start a Kafka consumer uh, at the back uh, so that uh, we can see the message that we have sent because now we only write our client application as producer, but still we don't have uh, a consumer client from, I, I mean, Java consumer client that we wrote ourselves. So before we write that, for now we are going to use the default uh, Kafka console consumer. So now I'm connecting the consumer uh, to the Kafka broker and the consumer now is waiting for messages. And uh, let's go to postman and create a message. So our functions are post method. Uh, as you can see from the controller here, where is the controller? They are all post method and we have a sync. Let me even copy it directly from here. We have async and sync. So now we are going to call the async uh, local host and our port is uh, 1990. So local host 1990 and this is our path. Local host 1990. Uh, so now in our body, you know, we have a message uh, that we sent and in that message we have ID in our request sa1 and we also have like a message we can give the key but for now we don't need to give the key let's just say uh, this is a message from uh, 
producer clients yes so this is our message so now let's trigger and see that whether that message is working or not so now we are sending from our producer client um, let's see okay and let's see our producer client yeah you see so our message from the producer client that we have written is now delivered to our Kafka and then our consumer read that message from Kafka broker so this is really amazing and and if you have any question re regarding to the uh, producer client or maybe you want to write a complicated producer client uh, you can give, leave a comment or you can send me a message through my email uh, but after completing this Kafka series, uh, at the end, we are also going to dedicate a complete full-fledged project that will work with both the Kafka's uh, cluster and then we'll have our producers and consumers written in Java consuming that message. So it's really good and you can see with just... Uh, simple to no effort using Spring Boot, we wrote our client that connect to Kafka broker and produce a message. And if you have any message or if, sorry, if you have any question, you can uh, leave a comment or send me a question through my email uh, and I will do my best to see that I will assist you through that. And I hope this will also benefit someone out there uh next we are going to continue with uh, kafka consumer client java client actually uh, also using spring boot so until then uh, i hope you enjoy this